Hey everyone, this is Airhead. Welcome back to another episode of Bug Fables. In the last episode, we found out the backstory of Leaf, and it was very sad and tragic. But then, in a happy turn, we met his descendants, which I read the situation completely wrong. This is Muse's father. So, these two are related. When he said he had brothers, I thought it was him like being surprised that Leaf was his brother, but I was just like explaining that his brothers could have had kids which look like Leaf, which would explain why Leaf is here to Muse. Because Muse was like, what? Dad, did you have another kid with someone? And he's like, no, my brothers could have. So these are actually like distant descendants of Leaf, not just like this is Leaf's daughter. Okay, so I'm glad I got that cleared up. So we're gonna do side quests this episode because I need something a little more lighthearted after everything that happened last episode. There was a lot going on. So I want to start off with the easy ones, just as a nice little breather. So, no bounties, no. Let's see, oh, these two. We have the items already, so let's go ahead and do them. Now I do still have some questions about Leaf and how he works. Because, well, I don't know why you'd be watching this episode before, before the last episode, so I'll be talking about it anyway. So it turns out Leaf is, Leaf actually died. And the cordyceps that the roaches were experimenting on got into him and like absorbed his memories and personality and pretty much just became him, which is very odd. But I wonder, I do wonder how, Cordyceps had magic in the first place and why they could talk and why Cordyceps are sentient. Maybe that's a, that sound, sounds like a roach experiment, but I wonder how they made Cordyceps like have personalities. Youch, yeah. I, I bet this little guy was trying a little too hard to lift that rock. By the spicy berries of the land, your horn. We're guessing that rock did this too. Yeah, that sounds about right. Hmm. Well, you've got to tell us what happened or we can't help. Well, we could just give him the horn since we have it. Fine, I'll tell ya. This is probably something embarrassing. I was going to break the rock to be the strongest, but then my horn broke and somehow bandits took it or something. Doesn't hurt or anything, but some- oh, there you go. Some bad bandits nabbed it. I can't heal it. <laughs> yeah, you just got to glue it back on. What could bandits possibly do with your horn? I don't know. It seemed pretty strong. Don't ask me, but I need it or I can't break the rock. That should be the least of your worries. Does it not grow back? Look, just leave it to us. We'll get it back from the bandits, because we already did. Uh, yeah. Have this silk. Okay, here's your horn. Oh, yay! You really got it. I'm all patched up now. I'm not sure how lifting could be easier since it's bandaged up, and I'm guessing those bandages are not very strong. Now you should definitely rest. I'm gonna go do it, I'm gonna break the rock. Yeah, so much better. Is he actually gonna do it this time? And this gives us access to a shortcut? Let's go find out. Hopefully. Well, it won't really be a shortcut because I don't think we really need a shortcut, but it'll probably be like a new area or something. So it's down here somewhere. Okay, can you break the rock now? It's you, thank you so much, I can break- I don't know why you couldn't break it before when your horn was actually attached and probably stronger. I implore you to reconsider, you've hurt yourself already. Nah, I'ma do it, just watch. Okay. There you go. Oh! Oh, it's Pebble Plus! Mightier Pebble. Boulder Toss? Oh, that's cool. Well, it's not quite broken, but it somehow shrunk. I did, I broke the rock, a champion of the people. So much honor. Uh, congrats? <laughs> Whatever. I can rest now. I deserve it for working so hard. See you and thanks. Okay. Good job. Alright, let's check out that metal. I guess I can... let's see. Ah, I'll worry about metal stuff later. But what was... Oh yeah, I can hold down X. Mighty Pebble. Boulder Toss. Three! Oh jeez, okay. Well... I guess we'll mess around with that later. What's over this way? Oh, this poor guy, he had a store, but it was blocked by a boulder. Look to the one and only Wacka Farms. Oh, you can play Wacka Worm and not get Wacka Bumps. 
Ooh, get over 25 for a prize. Um, all right, sure. Let's give it a shot. Oh, where are the customers? It's been a while since anyone came. I have to close down at this rate. I wonder why. Um, excuse us? What is it? Can't you see I'm... Wait, are you customers? Depends. What do you do here? I'll go to Whack Farms. Wait, wasn't it Whack of Farms? Oh, whatever. We play Whack a Worm. This game we play at the festival. So this is the way to replay it. That's good. The festival hosts sometimes so here. You can play whenever you want. Ten berries. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Because I think I've gotten a little bit better at the Beamerang. But this layout is different. Ah, too close. And a rock. Oh, wow, I actually hit that one. That's not what I was aiming for. There we go. So the ricochet is nice. Or the... that. Where you can, like, walk back. Um... So we're aiming for 25. That should be okay, because I got like 22 or 21 the first, or when I actually got better at this. Um, hopefully. I wonder what the high score is for this, like the highest score someone's gotten. I wonder if there's like a leaderboard for that. Oh, I'm sorry, Worm, you got, I didn't mean to hit you, but you kind of just ran right into it. Wait, I only have 15? Wait, you can probably hold it in place to make it a little bit easier. Man, this one's a lot harder, I think. Well, I got 18. Well, look at that, you got 18. What do we get? Here's something for your efforts. 13 berry, okay, so we made a three berry profit. Uh, I might have to do that off screen when I can focus better and aren't wasting your time. Okay, so let's do the other little material handed to someone quest. Which is just like right over here. Yeah, we're looking for the, the belly dancer moth. Where are you, belly dancer moth? I wonder when we'll get access to this building. Because when it has these wooden doors, it seems to be like story based or something. That's at least how Muse's house worked. Let's see, where are you? She's probably up here, maybe? Maybe. Oh, you have new things. Oh, there you are. Oh, the clothing store opened up. Hello. I can't believe it, my baby. My handmade, extremely high quality silk. It's gotta be Callie. Excuse us, miss. Whatever could you want? Can't you see I'm devastated? Well, we have it. We have the silk. We're here to help. You need not suffer any longer. Can you tell us what happened? Ah, oh, explorers, please excuse me. I've been very on edge. I have ample reason to believe Bennett has stolen my silk. Not any silk, yes? This one costs both time and many berries to manufacture. I wonder if there are, like, silkworms in this universe that can make silk. The bandits have really done a number on Defiantry. We've taken out a good bit of them. Leave it to us. You'll be able to crest again soon. So dashing. Okay, we got it. There you go. Ah, oh, my baby. My handsome, extremely high quality stuff. He has very handsome. He has beautiful eyes. I did feel incredible carrying it back here. Oh, it did feel incredible. It's Egyptian silk because we're in the desert. Did you truly create such an exquisite texture? That's right. Silks in the wondrous items of fashion and leisure can be woven into are my absolute passion. Gotta be worth a fortune. No wonder it got stolen. Ha, you cannot put a price on a masterpiece. You know, my prices are very economical. That means it's very expensive. This place is so cool. I've never seen this big wheel before. Oh, that, huh, yeah. Do be very careful near that vase, my dear. It's a gift from a client very close to me. That's a big vase. What do you need for that for? Work touches the hearts, yes. Shame we're not too much into fashion. Yeah, we don't even wear clothes. Pitching to get back to work, so... Please let me reward you for all you've done for the shop. Hey, another lore book. Cool. Where did you, why do people just like pick up lore books and not just return them to the library? Read this in, my darlings. It should soothe and fix your wounds with ease. Wait, how does a book soothe? Oh, she just blows a kiss. This is smoke. Oh no, are we going on a trip? Uh oh, the vase is totally gonna get destroyed. V, watch out. Achoo! Well, there you go. Uh oh. 
The smoke makes you really dizz. Ah! That face was one of a kind design from. It's shattered, rune obliterated. Oh, this is the worst day of my life. Oh no, do we have to go into service and get a bunch of rubies? I'm sorry. Sorry is not enough. It's time to show you consequences of touching these. What? It's your fault in the first place. Oh, another thing. <coughs> Stop it. I said I'm sorry. What's this smoke? V, you leave. Oh, do we have to come hither, my dear beetle? Oh, is it like... Oh, is this, um, Scarlet? Oh, what's going on in my body? Oh, maybe... Well, I, maybe it's Scarlet. I don't know. I digress. Come on, Knight. Let's give this to a proper thrash. Oh, we have to fight uh, Kabu. That's cool. What do you think you're doing? You're going to betray us over this? I can't control my body. I'm popping on silk and strings now. Let's begin to... Okay, this is not what I was expecting. Who are you? Callie. I guess maybe you're not Scarlet. Huh. Interesting. So we, let's tattle Kabu, I guess. I wonder what they have to say about him. Is he gonna go in the the catalog? What? Why does he have 30 HP when he's on my team? You're in big trouble, Kabu. I'm super mad. But I don't want to hurt you. I need to think of another way. Well, let's just ignore him then. Callie. He's put in a real jam. Callie's more formidable than we ever expected. Okay, they're not that tough. I mean, they're kind of tough. Doesn't help she's boosting poor Kabu. We should put an end to that. Hey, I didn't give you that badge. Oh, so she's actually a dancer. So she buffs other people. Does he, does Kabu have like a reaction thing where he'll attack? Okay, never mind. Well, maybe we could just freeze Kabu and not have to hit him. Never mind. Oh, he did the, the zombie attack. Kabu, why don't you use these moves when you're on ice side? Well, I don't want to hit Kabu, because, like, if we just beat her, then the battle should probably end. And she keeps buffing him, so we're doing less damage anyway. Okay, this is a cool fight. This is really fun. I probably should be a little bit less oh, frugal with the TP. Because I can just like heal after this really quickly. Oh, I can't use Frost Bowling. Darn. That would have been fun to use. I could cleanse Kabu, but I don't really need to. Uh, oh, everyone can use Frost Bowling. That's cool. Alright, Kabu. Okay, you're just gonna keep doing your horn flip. So you use like two new moves. Can all she do is buff? Okay, I'm tempted to attack Kabu just to see if Kali does anything else. Because this is like way easier because Kali doesn't do anything. Kali, do something. There you go. Oh. Wow. Well, I'm just gonna glance. Your buffs mean nothing! Okay, it's starting to hurt a little bit. Callie, why don't you use, like, some of your mist to incapacitate us or something? I wonder what that even is. Oh. Hmm. Man, I wish I could end it with Frost Bowling. That'd be fun. Oh well. Let's see if some of the triggers work. Oh no, they don't. Ah, I, I yield. Oh, maybe we would have gotten experience for Kabu. Oh well. Um, okay, so that just happened. This was unnecessary. We could have replaced the vase. Or we could have, like, gone to the guy who gave it to you. Extremely unnecessary. Please don't control my body. Yep, th that's that's it. We just say, don't do it again. Little slap on the wrist. I'm sorry, that smoke made me dizzy. I couldn't help it. Sigh, all right. I apologize as well, my dears. It's quite uncouth of me to lose my temper. Let's put this behind us. Mm, water in the oasis, as it were. I'll see if... 
Oh, it's Butomo. Can fix the vase. We actually have a quest for her. Fine with us. We're too lazy to press char press charges. I guess with the soldiers, because I haven't really seen any police bugs. I'll stay super far from the fixed one, I promise. Despite the downward turn, we hope you make great things with that silk, Callie. Oh, well, this kind of just de-escalated <laughs> incredibly quickly. Oh, I assure you, I can and will, my dear knight. Please remove yourselves from my shop if you'd be so kind. You know what? You don't have to tell us twice, but I'm still going to tattle you. This guy's made quite a name for herself in town. Her wares are very popular. Eh, they're way too expensive. We're already beautiful. I agree, Leaf. You are beautiful. All right. All of us are beautiful. Okay. Well, that was interesting. Bye, Callie. I do really like your design, though, even if you're mean. <laughs> I wonder what she was even going with for with that mist. Like, was she trying to heal us or something? Hey there. <gasps> Magic ice cubes? Those do terrible damage, but I'll buy one because maybe you can cook with it. Let's cook ice! Hey, Chubby. Or Crisby. I'm getting all my bees mixed up. Cook this ice. <laughs> Stick some... Give us... Oh, what, it probably just gives us water. Please just give me water. That would be hilarious. Shaved ice, oh. Four HP, oh, it may cause brain freeze, so it freezes you, great. Yep, that's how you make shaved ice. You just stick a cube of ice in, in a fryer. Or I guess in a, a stone oven. Okay, uh, what quest do we have now? Still not doing that one, even though I think we could make it to the, the golden seedling place. Stream Mountain's Peak, um, uh, I'll do that one later. Oh, we can do this one. Okay, Discreet Place, that's probably the well. So we'll do this quest for this mysterious bug, who could it possibly be? Discreet Place, what is the defined route to Discreet Place? I'm not really sure. Is it up there? No. Is it in here? No. Oh, wow, a bunch of people left. Discreet place. Define roots discreet place. Not in here, no. Is it up here? Because I saw this creepy guy back here. Are you still here? No. Hmm. Just gotta check one more time, make sure I'm in the right spot. Somewhere near the Sunset Inn. Where is the Sunset Inn? Is this the Sunset Inn over here? No, this is like Wasp and someone. Oh, the Sunset Inn is in the Golden Settlement. Um, well, I guess we should find it first and then maybe he'll show up. So let's go over to the Sunset Inn. I'm pretty sure this is the Sunset Inn. I mean, it has a sunset right there. Um, hey, have you seen a lost item? Yeah, you missed her by a long shot. Maybe up here. Oh, hey, V. How you doing up there? Somewhere? Well, he said it was somewhere near. Maybe it's like out here. Nope. Where is this lost item? Where could it possibly be? Maybe it's back where the lore book was. Nope. Hmm. I might just cut ahead until I find it. Oh, there it is. It's back here. A Mott Beaver doll? <sighs> Zoth, what are you doing with yourself? You get to look at Mott all the time. Why would you want a doll of her? Maybe it's for, like... Oh, it's for his... His younger sister, that's what it is. Of course. So let's go give that back to him. I want to see what the description is. Doll of Mothiva, the superstar. Maybe someone lost it. You know, I can kind of see why Zosp had a hood now. Alright, let's go give it to him in the secret place. That's probably the well, if I had to guess. Oh, Zosp. Zosp's a funny guy. I like him. 
Even if he does have questionable taste in women. Alright. Should be down here. Maybe? Maybe he's like, over here. Zoss, where are you? Nope. Oh, that's interesting. The music plays out here. I also like the upside down ant kingdom flags because they're like rebelling. Okay, well, hmm. Where is the secret place? Well, I'm noticing there's a door up there. But I don't know how to get up there. Is it back here? Nope. Sas, where are you? Zosp. Oh. Aha, here it is. I definitely didn't have to look that up. Huh, interesting. So there's actually a shop back here. Phew, <laughs> the poison emporium. Oh, great. Poison dart. Poison bomb. Dangerous room. Oh, you could have just bought danger spuds. Oh my gosh, okay. Hello. Oh, they're lovely. Oh my gosh, is this Merly? Please give me bonuses. You're off for charms. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. How do charms work? I'm guessing it's like Merly from Paper Mario. Like, you either, some terms, you'll randomly get an attack buff or defense buff, or sometimes you'll get double experience. Yep, depending on the effects, yeah. Granting a boost of power. Oh, that's different. Recovering HP and TP, that didn't happen before. I wonder how many times they last. Yes, we're gonna get one. We'll just get a... I wonder what the most useful thing is, because in past games, like actually if you wanted to spend the most, or you wanted the best bang for your buck, you usually go with the regular one, like in Paper Mario. But we'll, we'll just stick with that one. Let's see the charm animation. Are you gonna like put us in boxes or put us in cards? Oh, you just spin around. Cool, thanks, Merle. What is your name? Charm Dancer. Seeing these work with my very own eyes, there's no luck involved. Yeah, it's magic. Hello, mysterious robed bug, who I have no idea who you are. You? Hmm? Nothing. Have you found the thing? No, because I want to tell you. That guy looks familiar. Could this be... It's, uh, it's Hawk. Here, have his lore book. All right, we'll give you your doll of your waifu. There you go. Here's your reward. Oh, Heartberry, nice. Never happened, I'm going now. On a trip on the way to that concert. Uh, okay. That was funny. Well, I mean, might as well use that item. Do I want Cobb to have more HP? Um, yeah, kind of. <laughs> there we go, cool. Okay. Man, how did I not see this before? This is a pretty obvious hiding spot. My explorer senses have been dulled. Okay, so let's actually, I wanna go turn in those lore books and see what new lore we can learn. Let's see what we got here. Yes, we found this one. And we also found this one. Man, there are a lot of lore books. I think you can check this. What a masterful painting. It truly captures a Liz Ant's graceful demeanor. Yeah, I looked up some discoveries that I might have possibly missed. I wasn't sure if I got this one, but it looks like I haven't. Grace, huh? I guess the new queen has more of a power aura. Hmm. Elizant was a con was con as kind as they came. Even some monsters would be friendly in her presence. Wow. Force was soothing, and she saw the future in a bright light. Must have been an honor, I must say. I'm envious of you having met her. Aren't you giving the new queen too much of a rough time, though? Of all people to defend her, we didn't expect it to be you. Well, she has a super big reputation to live up to. A lot of bugs who didn't accept her from the start. Well, yeah, with her first thing being, like, outlawing a bunch of people, a lot of political and social issues forced her hand, too, which you could even say Elizabeth's passing gave way to. We know. We know things are never as simple as good queen, bad queen. But it's still difficult to accept. We can't pledge loyalty just yet. Well, maybe eventually. As long as you're willing to keep an open mind, she may surprise you. Until then, we have to have this painting to come back to. Well, she could also possibly be very evil. 
Okay. The crowning of Elizabeth II. After tears were shed over Elizabeth's too sudden retirement, it's time to crown the new queen. Retirement, that's an interesting way of putting it. Elizabeth II's speech rated power over kindness, leaving many uneasy. Although everyone cheered, doubt and fear festered amongst the populace. They could only wait and pray their new queen would be just. Well, it's still kind of yet to be seen. Our lifespan! I actually was wondering about this, too. Before the Day of Awakening, they say we used to live very little. Only a few days or moons. Most of that time, we were helpless larvae. Marriage marked the end of life. Yeah, you, you grow up, you have kids, and then you die. It's inconceivable nowadays. For one, we don't even remember being larvae. Truly, becoming an adult is like being born, and then we got to enjoy this beautiful land for many years. It's hard not to pity our ancestors who had to give up life so soon after becoming aware of it. I'm still wondering if that's going to become relevant. It probably is. Okay. Um, I had to cut a lot because it took me forever to find where Zosp was. So I might have time for at least starting another quest. I want to... This one... This one seems like it'll be pretty short. Okay. Meet at the Haven. I think I already know where Levy is. So we're gonna go see her, and then find out where her brother may have gotten off to. Because if it's just a finding quest- are there more quests? I mean, so distracted. Oh, and this opens up because we unlocked the, the place. Well, we'll, I guess we have another quest to add to the board, but we'll do that one later. So let's go try and find Levy. Where are you, Levy? I think you should just be in the same spot you've always been. Which is like right over here. Yeah, there you are. Oh no! Oh, she's crying. Don't worry, or are those like blushes? Or are those tears? They're red, so they're probably blushes. She's crying. Oh no, they're tears. She just has red tears. It must be in a, the right place. Leaf has some tact. You, are you explorers? You know it, we saw your post on the wall. Oh, thank goodness. So your brother went missing? Yes, he's been going on about getting me some treasure for my birthday. No, I told him I didn't need anything. He hasn't come back yet. He must be lost in Snake Mouth then. Oh, this is another reason to go over there. Don't worry, Levy, I'm on the case. Indeed, we'll escort you safely. Oh, wait. Oh, no, another escort? Oh, thank you. I, stand, I can't stand imagining him all alone. Yes, let's get going. Oh, no, escort. Well, hopefully we don't have to actually, like, do a, one of those escort missions like we had to do with the Overseer. So let's go over to Snake Mouth then. Here we are. You know, seeing Lebby's design, it makes me kind of want that all the female characters just had eyelashes so I could tell if they're male or female. Because everyone knows the way to draw a female character is just to draw a male character and then give them eyelashes and that's it. Okay, so where is your brother? I wonder how deep he got. And I wonder like, what treasure is still left here. I think we cleaned this place out pretty well. Unless he's going to the terrifying lab, which I really hope he isn't there. Um, I doubt he's in the lab. So let's check down first. Maybe he went to like the inner chamber where the artifact was. Oh, bye Lebby. So this is a nice little trip down memory lane, even though we were just here. There, I see him on the corner in this room. We must hurry. Oh, is he under attack? Wait, where is he? Hey, get away. Don't bug me not. Which corner? I didn't see him. Is he over here? Oh, there he is. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Death by cutscene. Help, the monsters are after me. Don't worry, we'll just touch them and they'll die. Don't worry, we'll take care of them for you. Just hide somewhere safe. Okay, die. Cool. We did it. <laughs> Brother, oh, you're safe. Sis. How dare you run off alone? What if you got hurt? I just wanted to get you a present. I don't need presents. I need you to be safe. You're all I have left. Aw. Sis. Now touch it. Let's give them some time to talk. And still stand here. Still, I got you this. An aphid egg. Lady ladybugs love aphids. Oh, my favorite. I'm sorry for running off. But I'm mad at you, too. You give me most of the food and then pretend you're not hungry. Oh, man, ladybugs have it rough. I'm not a kid. I can help out too. We're a family. Yes, you're right. 
I'll depend on you a bit more from now on. Uh, I don't want Sis to pay the reward. It's my fault she had to come here. Is this enough? I found it while exploring. Another lore book! Uh, yes, thank you. That is more than enough. Thank you, brave lad. Come on, let's get out of here. Yeah, let's leave. Alright, let's get out of here. Aw, oh, that was a kind of sweet little side quest. Some sibling love going on. That's fun. Again, thank you for everything. Hope we caused no trouble for you. No problem. Stay safe, you two. Come. Let's find something else to do. And we will find Leaf doing that. Take care, you two. Wait, I wonder if Leaf had siblings before all that stuff happened. Okay, and we will find more stuff to do in the next episode. So thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure to play, and I will see you later.